My name is Casper Zero Vlogs, and today we are going to be rating another person. It's another episode of Is She a 10? Is She Beautiful? It's going to be featuring none other than Pinky Dog. If you guys don't know her by name, this is the NPC TikTok chick. I figure why not rate her since everyone's talking about her right now. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of clout chasing, you know. I have to learn from the master who is who is she, right? So, or is it who is her? You guys let me know if I'm right or wrong on that. Is it who is she or who is her? Which one is proper? But, as always, we're going to be doing this in a certain way, guys. We're going to rate a couple of different things. It's going to be smile, height, weight, facial structure, and face symmetry. And then the rating goes like this, guys. One is a monster. Two is very ugly. Three is ugly. And then I added an extra one. 3.5 is pretty ugly. 4 is homely, 4.5 is basic, 5 is average, 6 is cute, 7 is pretty, 8 is beautiful, 9 is gorgeous, and 10 is superb, which probably no chick is ever going to get because nobody's perfect. And then we're going to do a spectrum on like the best she looks, on average what she looks like, and a low what she looks like. So it's going to be like a spectrum of, of looks, all right? It won't just be she's a solid 8 because nobody has, everyone has her ups and their downs, so we're going to have her rated at the highest. Right at the mid, right at the lowest, all right? So I want you guys to rate this with me. And as always, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, all right? Keep these videos going. This video has to hit at least like 5,000 views, all right? If you guys really like this series for real, 5,000 views, three three to 5,000 views, I think that's realistic. But uh, yeah, I don't want this video to take too long. I'm going to try to make this at least eight minutes long, no longer than 10 minutes long. So uh, yeah, guys, let's get into the video right now. Maniac for that trap's true. All right, guys, so as you guys know, I try to get different type of uh, pictures, them just being kind of out there, right? They're trying to look good for the camera. And then something I'm also adding to the series now is no makeup pictures. No makeup pictures is going to be like 50% of what the rating is overall, all right? So I got everybody's no makeup pictures. I found hers. I was only able to find out one no makeup picture, but this chick wears a lot of makeup. I'm just going to say that. But starting out with this one, we're going to... Um, you know, rate her smile and stuff like that. I can't really see her smiling here, but uh, in the list, I'm really trying to make this really consistent with my list. You know, we're can look at height and weight in this picture here, and her weight is, is her weight is great. You know, uh, she obviously isn't out of shape and like that. Very petite build, so that's definitely gives her more points right there. I think that her hair is fake. I can't really tell if her hair is fake to be honest. Maybe somebody can correct me in the comments, but I don't think that she's black. I think she's like Dominican, and I think that their hair kind of is naturally like that from from my understanding. So. I, I'll give her points for the hair as well, but overall natural. Um, and yeah, I have nothing really bad to say about this picture. Going on to this one, all right. Now this is like a pound of makeup. This is this is what I was kind of talking about here, guys. Uh, in the last picture, she actually looked decent, uh, but she has a pound of makeup on. That's going to deduct a lot of her points because she actually doesn't really look this way. So uh, for smile, she's not smiling here, but uh, her height also. She's you know of average height. She's like five foot three, five foot four. So her height's in her favor. Her weight is in her favor. We're going to talk about facial structure and face symmetry. Uh, overall, she has a decent, decent bone structure. I have nothing really bad to say about her bone structure. She has this overall feminine build. Um, face symmetry. Her eyes are actually decent. The only thing I can kind of, I guess, pick at is her, is her eyebrows are kind of up, but that doesn't really take away from her too often. Um, overall, like, I wouldn't say she's like a really good looking chick, but I wouldn't say she's an ugly chick either, right? High cheekbones, kind of a strong chin, uh, but. She's making a face in this picture, and it's really hard to determine. I'm telling you guys right now, she wears a lot of makeup. That's why a lot of this stuff is really like, oh, in her favor, because she's wearing a lot of makeup. She's doing certain camera angles, and the lighting is perfect. Like, she is a master of disguises. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. And then also, I want, another thing I want to do as well is, like, stuff that makes her unattractive. Those nails are the Those nails are disgusting, all right? Those nails are literally disgusting. I don't know how she wipes her butt with those nails, um, they look like Freddy Krueger's. That deducts serious points from her. That is just that is just disgusting, bro. So I don't know what's going on with her with her nails. You can tell this chick is actually ghetto stuff like that. But yeah, that's in this picture. That's the only deduction I really take from her is her nails. Uh, nice skin complexion. 
uh, moderately big eyes, full lips, nothing really bad to say. Like she has surgery on her nose, but I could be wrong. Maybe she didn't have surgery on her nose. Maybe this is how her nose, nose is. But her eyebrows, I don't know what's going on with her eyebrows. Obviously, she th drew those in. If those are her natural eyebrows, I don't know why my eyebrows look better than yours. All right? I don't do nothing to my eyebrows. These are natural eyebrows. Her hers are not natural eyebrows. She literally looks like she has caterpillars on her on her forehead. So I would deduct points with that. So nails and forehead. Mm, I said nails and forehead. Nails and uh, eyebrows, huge deduction there. Okay, now she's kind of smiling. She doesn't really smile. She just smirks. And uh, back again, we're back on uh, face symmetry. Her face, she kind of looks like an alien here. I'm not going to lie. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like I'm telling you guys, she wears a lot of makeup, all right? Uh, but still, even then, you know, her height and weight is um, pretty much on check with all of her stuff. So I'm going to just be done with that. But for her smile, I can't really see how she's smiling. I couldn't really find any proof of her smiling. But her smile seems to be kind of like this goes straight back from what I was able to find. This one is more like she's trying to naturally smile because she... I'm telling you, she's a master of disguises, guys. So one moment she's smiling this way, the moment she's smiling this way. Like she has actually became the embodiment of an NPC. It's not even like a character anymore. So for smile, I'll say it's kind of like, I guess I can rate that one to ten. I'll say it's kind of like a six. She kind of knows how to smile, but she definitely puts on that persona where it's like happy girl, lucky girl. So it's not. I don't really think that it's a genuine smile. So I'm gonna deduct a little bit from the from her smile. Uh, her nails are disgusting again. You know, fake eyebrows. I believe her hair is definitely fake for this one because she's definitely not a natural blonde. Uh, but her face symmetry, I mean, her face uh, structure is, I think she has a decently structured face. Uh, it's kind of masked on the chin area, uh, a little bit masked on there. But overall, I think that she has a, a feminine face. And now we're going to go, like, this is going to be her, her, the majority of her rating is the no makeup picture. Because I think that it's a little unfair, at least to the last chicks that I did, because I didn't have no makeup picture. So that's something I'm going to really, like, Put, put emphasis and effort to is there no makeup pictures because that's truly how they look. And it made me realize I started doing no makeup pictures because of her. She like, this chick really knows how to make herself look better than what she really looks like. You can see here, uh, she has really great lighting. You can actually see the difference in her skin complexion with the one on the left, right? She looks a lot more light skin. Her skin looks a lot more attractive, at least to me. I like um, that type of skin tone when it comes to, I guess, darker skinned women. That, that skin tone is the best looking skin tone. So she actually looks a lot more attractive to me just within that that skin tone there but you notice on the right one and that's your forte you like the darker skin tone that's fine but she looks a lot darker right so you can guys can see here even the shape of her nose almost looks different like she looks like a different person um even like in this area here right where the eyelids are it looks completely different from the picture on the right she looks like she looks like it could be you know her sister or she could like it could be her twin my point is that she's really good with lighting and she's really really good with just putting the mask on, right? She's a master of disguises. She's the ultimate clout chaser. So you can see with her with her smile here, right? It looks like it could be natural, but that smile is a lot different than the last smile. So it's really, I have, it makes it really hard for me to, to give her an accurate rating on whether she's attractive or unattractive because she keeps looking different every single photo. And even her eyebrows, right? You notice the thickness of her eyebrows and the pictures to the right to the pictures to the left, they look kind of different. You can see here uh, with this part here, it's a lot more smooth than the picture on the left and the picture on the right. I guess she didn't shave it as much. So you can see a little bit more here, right? And even the thickness of her eyebrows is different in each picture. The picture on the right, to be honest, she looks more like a primate. And the picture on the left, she looks more like, uh, I guess, I I'm going to try to give this amount of time. I'm going to try to be nice, all right? I know you guys said it's PG Cas Casco, but I'm trying to be nice. The point is, she looks more masculine in the picture to the left. Yeah, she looks more like a primate in the picture to the right, right? I'm just being dramatic here. But she looks different. That's the point I'm trying to make you guys really understand. She looks like if you really look at the details and her facial structure, something like that, she looks different. Her nose actually looks a little bit more puffy up in the ridges here. And then in the picture on the left, her nose looks more flat. So it's like, again, it's really, really hard to read this chick. But I'm going to really break down her rating in the next photo, which is her no makeup photo. So this is how she really looks. All right. So this is a really good one. All right. So this kind of shows exactly how she truly looks. Okay. And even then, I think that she still has makeup here, but it's not as much makeup. And you can kind of see, like, her nose looks a little bit bigger now. Her nostrils look a little bit bigger here. Um, still fake eyebrows, obviously, still fake nails. But she looks a little bit more, like, human, right, um, in this picture here. So, again, uh, her face is pretty symmetrical overall. I couldn't really find nothing too much. Maybe her eyes are kind of, like, far apart. You can kind of see now her eyes are a little bit far apart. In this picture here, 
uh, in comparison to her nose ridges, like my, you know, my eyes are a little bit closer to my nose, so our eyes are a little bit further apart. Um, and then you can also see in here, and here actually isn't too bad, but her nose is kind of pushed up at the um, at the actual nose holes. Her nose is kind of pushed up, so it kind of goes like at an angle, kind of like that. Her nose does, so it doesn't like sit perfectly in her face. It like gets pushed up, and then with this part here, it's too high for the actual nose nose ridge, right? So it should kind of just be all like one smooth piece. But where hers, it's a dent here in this area on the top of the nose right here is too far up. So that's something that's kind of a deduction there. Obviously, she's human, so I'm not expected to be perfect. But when we do these ratings, this stuff matters because I got to rate them, right? And then you can also see um, with face structure now, right? You can kind of see the chin here. It doesn't look as strong. It actually looks a lot softer without all that extra makeup. So her chin looks a little bit softer here. So in the last one, when I said she has like a masculine chin, she looks like she has more of a feminine chin here. But overall, what would I rate this chick, man? All right, what would I rate this chick? I don't think there's too much, too much bad to say about this chick, um, other than like she's a three or four, <laughs> like she's a disgusting abomination of a human being. But I wouldn't say anything past that. So what would I rate this chick? All right, so let's see here, man. This picture here, you know, I, I would give it. Mm, probably like a 4.5 and like I said, I really want to be consistent with these ratings. So that's like basic. I usually remember stuff from the top of my head, but uh, basic, she's like basic here, right? Um, she, I'll give her a six here, you know, a six again, cute here, maybe a 6.5. I don't think she's pretty. Uh, there's too much makeup, man. It's just like her, like her face is shining, literally like reflective. Her face is literally really reflective from the makeup. So that's just, that's just huge deductions there. Here she looks a little bit more natural, as you can see. So here I'll also give her like maybe a 6.5. 6.5. Um, yeah, I don't think she's pretty. I don't think that she's pretty. I think that she's cute at best. I think she has a very like seductive look to her. I think that she has a very... She knows how to take pictures very, very well. Um, she knows what she's doing really, really good. But having like a persona, right, of attractiveness doesn't make you attractive you just really look at her like okay she looks sexy right here yada yada, yada. take all the outlets look at her face right okay what like are you pretty are you beautiful i just want you guys to look at that. like take her breast out of it take her shape out of it all this stuff just look at her face right are you a right are you beautiful i wouldn't consider her to be beautiful i think a lot of guys would consider her to be beautiful though but i think more experienced guys could agree with me that she's maybe like a six um even a seven, I personally don't believe that she's a seven, though. I think that she's she's a six. I think a seven is more breathtaking, right? Seven pretty is more like, oh, wow. Like, like you and you see her like, man, like, dang. But when I see her, I don't get a dang feel. I'm like, whoa, I don't see that. So I think that ultimately at a low, I'm going to give her at a low basic. So basic for low is a uh, 4.5. I think that she's basic. I don't think that she's homely. I think she's a little bit above homely. On average, I would give her an average, I'll give her a six. I think she's cute most of the time. I think I would give her a six most of the time. But the thing about her is because the way she did her makeup and stuff like that, right? She doesn't really go above a six. And, and do you know why she doesn't go above a six? It's because she's not really like, she's not breathtaking. She just knows how to do a pose. She knows how to put on makeup really, really well. And she knows how to be seductive. She knows what guys like. And that's how she's being successful because she's going into the perversion of guys, right? So she she knows what she's doing, but she's not above a six. I've not seen any picture of her being above a six. So honestly, she'd probably be the first person in this video where like her high and her average is the same, where she's a six. I don't, I truly in my heart do not believe she's a 6.5. I think, I think the majority of the guys give her an eight, or probably a 10 because guys are seven these days, but I think the majority of the guys would give her an eight. But my personal rating, being an experienced guy with females, Low, I'm going to give her a 4.5, which is basic. Medium, I'm going to give her a 6. And at a high, I'm going to give her a 6. I do not believe she's a 6.5. And I do not believe that she's a 7, which is a pretty. And pretty is breathtaking. When you see a chick, you're like, dang, that is breathtaking. All right. So I wonder what you guys think about this chick. Uh, also, I would say I'm going to deduct points from her doing OnlyFans. But I think that would be a little bit unfair if I deduct points from her doing OnlyFans. Because we want to talk about only her looks and only her body and stuff like that. I can't bring in, I know you guys want to mention that. I can't bring in what she does outside of, you know, her looks and stuff like that. 
I can't, I can't, I can't. She's like, oh, she has OnlyFans, you know. Uh, she's unattractive because of it, right? Because I didn't know she did OnlyFans, then what? She still be attractive to me. The only thing I can read is like nails, eyebrows, stuff like that. She actually has on her body. So yeah, that's my rating, guys. I wonder what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is she a ten? Is she a one? Is she a three? Do you guys like this more direct type of content? Do you guys like when I just ramble for an extremely long time about super detailed science stuff when it comes to these females? Because I can't really tell if you guys like when I go into super deep detail about uh, their looks and stuff like that, and really break it down and in, in super scientific detail. What you guys like when I kind of give a rough draft about the individual? So. Try to give you guys what you guys like. You guys have to let me know what you guys like in the comments below. But make sure you guys tell me who you guys want me to rate next, all right? In the next video, I, I got somebody for you guys in the next video. I will be reading uh, Tiana, I believe her name is. I will be reading her in the next video. So I have seen you guys' comments. I just want to get this chick out there because I'm trying to clout chase, all right? A man's got to eat. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Let me get my video out there in this jungle that we call you to a further do this me for the video I'm not arrogant I'm just confident and thank you for watching